Good morning, Master Paul Gannon here for another awesome martial arts class for you all. So, because it's our martial arts class, I'm going to put my belt on. Hopefully you've got your belt on as well and your uniform and you've got the right frame of mind. Make sure it's on well. So, as always, say hello, put things in the comments and pictures. And um, so today we're working towards our tip test, which is in two weeks today. I believe that's the 25th of April. We're going to work the Warrior Kata part one and the um, Warrior Kata part two. So the Warrior Kata is part one is for white belts to, um, to, um, to orange belt. And then from green belts, who, who next belt is a blue belt, of course, uh, they're going to be doing part two. I'm going to introduce some bits of part three today as well. Now I'm going to do a warm up and workout when we get started. We're going to do a little bit of a partner warm up today. If you haven't got a partner, I'm going to give you an alternative, but it doesn't matter who they are, anyone, any size, whatever, can do the uh, sort of partner work game we're going to do as part of the uh, warm up. That noise is just Delilah. Hopefully you don't mind her making noises. We can't keep her locked up in a cupboard all day long, can we? I think um, we're gonna get started. So let's, let's do our martial arts bow and get ready. Just adjust like this. Hello, Chloe from uh, uh, Dunstan. Say, say hello to everyone before you go. This is Delilah. Delilah's actually been practicing her kicks, but whenever she kicks, she is actually, she does her knee lifts and round kicks. I can't take a picture of her. She's got a favorite backpack on. She wears it like for two days now. Okay, go away now. Come here. We're gonna get started this time. So feet together. And rest position, let's do that again. Attention. And bow. With regards to training, so try not to get distracted by little babies running around. And don't have the TV or the radio on in the background and get distracted. Let's focus on our training. Let's do a head to toe warm up. Uh, so you loosen up and, and, and get on with some other things as well. As always, let's do these arm circles. We're going to do a lot of powerful blocks and punches today. Let's go for it here. I can. Feel my arms clicking a bit. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. And then forwards. By the way, did some of you see that picture I posted yesterday? It's like a black and white picture of me and my two brothers. And I said on it, I was just took my second down, which would have made me 20. It wasn't, I was wrong. It was actually my um, first degree black belt. I was 17 in that picture. I just got a bit confused. Let's get these hips moving here. And get them all loosened up. And then the other way, get it all nice and loose. Right, let's reach up to the ceiling. And how, by the way, how is our, how are our stretches to our like knees and ankles and toes? How many of us can be touch, can, can touch our toes? Push up and then down. Because we do this stretch like five times a week, like well, this one, we should be getting pretty good at it. And push right down and one more time push up and then here good just do a few exercises before we do a sort of partner work warm-up uh, drill right a few exercises we're gonna start we're just going to do um, uh, ten of these starting off with ten burpees because we know burpees is one of your favorites Right, we're going to do 10 burpees with a jump. One. Whoa, look at the height of that jump. Pretty amazing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Next one, keeping with the legs. Keeping the legs, we're gonna squat, 
then do a jump. That's right, squat jump. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic. I'm going to do a uh, the leg raises now. We want to do these relatively quick with a little pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to the side. Well, I'm getting warm now. Hopefully you're getting warm as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to need you now. Yeah. Take her in then. We're going to do a little bit of partner work to get us warmed up even more. This is our karate tick game. Our karate tick game. And the idea is we're trying to tick towards someone's uh, tummy. So where their, belt, where their belt would be, all right? Now to keep this safe, we put one hand behind the back. Okay, she puts her front hand behind the back. I'm gonna tick with the back hand. So I try and tick her, she ticks me once, we tick, we stop and we start again. Now, a couple of rules. When she tries to tick me, I can't block her. If I'm there, she ticks me, she's got me. So I have to move to the side or move around. Also, she can't turn, I can't grab her. So I can't grab her like this. So just, I'm gonna move around to right now. If you haven't got space for this, this is what I want you to do. While we're doing this, I want you to be on your toes, shadow boxing, back, 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 back. So you're moving around, throwing these punches, going to be shadow box, just for about, about 90 seconds, all right? So my hands behind the shoulder. And when you get to three ticks, your partner earns two toe jumps. Right, so moving around here. Oh, I'm straight in there, I'm too good. Oh, she's got one now. So make sure you're doing this. If you've got the space, she's got two on me. Right, moving around. I got one, two on her now. Ah, oh, who was first? Me, definitely. So I got to do two toe jumps. One, two. So we resume the game again. Again, I'm just trying to tick her on the tummy. Clearly, if you've got no space, don't do this. If you've got a person and some space, let's do it, ready? So we use our stances, switch him around. Whoa, hit her arm. Now, she cheats, see, she blocked with her arm. She can't block with her arm, so it's I one, mean to. one for me. And you're off the wrong hand. It's gotta be your back hand. Get out into the back hand. No, not if your right in front, it's your front hand. Oh, okay. You gotta keep orthodox. So moving around. Again, see, she blocked with her arm. So she loses another point. You can't block with your arms at all. Right, three now, you've got to do two toe jumps. So there's no cheating. Right, now let's go again. So, remember, we are in normal stance. Hand behind the back, ticking with the back hand. This simulates, simulates a reverse punch. Ready, go. Ah, oh, she got a man, she's too, too young. Don't bother me, you weak little hands. Yes, in there, see that? The position, the timing, boom. Same time. Okay, that's two ones for me then. Same time. Okay. Same time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're drawing now. Oh, I got that busy. One, two. So, that's the uh, quite a tick game there. Let's go on with a little bit more stretching.
We're gonna take the legs wide, standing position here. Let's go side to side, 10 times. Ready. First of all, establish a good balance position with your hands in the center. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's go forward and back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there just for ten. It's going to hold it there, not moving. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Going to the uh, the half splits now, so pushing that front leg. We've got both hands on our hips. If this is too much for you, put your hands on the floor. Otherwise, put your hands on your hips. Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. Push nice and low. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch again, pushing slowly towards the front split here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's hold it for ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change the other side. So we're not spending too long on these today. Hopefully enough to be able to do your fundamental kicks and your advanced kicks today. Let's hold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready. We're going to do part, the, the, the hand techniques on part one of the kata, so not just the kicks yet. So part one is we're doing the four punches and the three types of blocks, two blocks each. Let's practice those. We'll do it quite slow to begin with, then we're going to add more power and speed. We start, of course, from a ready position here, make a fist. Here, a ready stance. We're stepping to the side. I'm gonna work a little bit lower stance today to work my legs. Hopefully you can do that. So I don't wanna to be too high like this. I wanna be nice and low. Let's do four punches. One, two, three, four. Low blocks, hand on top. One, point to the center. Two, point to the center, inward block. Three, four, then high block, five, Pull it down, six, and back to ready stance. Let's do that again. To the side, good low position. And of course, my hand is tight, not like this, tight just above my belt. Let's do four punches with me. Go, one, two, three, four, low blocks. One, two, inward block. Three, four, high blocks, five, Six, rest us. Third time, let's have loads of power, pausing after each technique. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back to here. Well, we're getting warm now. Before we do our, our kicks, of course we have a front kick, side kick uh, there. Do a little bit more stretching. So let's take the um, wide stretch again. This time we're going to hold it for a little bit longer. It's very important we do the stretching before our kicks. Very important. Just holding it there. 
hopefully you'll feel it relax a little bit and open up and get a wide position. From here, let's go forward and back just five times this time. One, two, three, four, five. From here, we're gonna go to the side. Hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And change. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more set. One, two, three, four, five. And then to the side, hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Up. We're going to uh, hold onto a chair. And we're going to do this first set of kicks. This first set of kicks on the chair. We're going to start today with the round kick. Let's just get this correct from the beginning. To fire a round kick, it helps if your toes are already forward. If we're side on, kicking off the back leg is a lot more tricky. We have to move our hips more. So let's start off with our chest almost forward. Let's roll the fingers in, make a good fist. Hold on to the side, then knee up, part one. We're gonna kick, then we put it down in front. So the knee comes up, fire the kick, not too fast. Notice I, I, I use both hands to hold the chair then. That's okay. It's also okay to hold with one hand, whatever you feel most comfortable with. The knee comes up and kick. That's number two. And three, hold it first. Push it out, put it in front, then step back. Four. Five. Six. Put it in front, then step back, good. Seven. Eight. Let's remind ourselves, when we throw up the kick, the supporting foot turns away, doesn't it? And nine, so we turn that foot away. And one more, 10. Let's kick off the other leg. So let me remind you about this. If I'm facing this way when I kick, the uh, leg that's on the ground when I'm kicking, that foot turns away because, because I'm turning my hip all the way, it has to turn away. If it doesn't turn away, it means you're either not turning your hip or you put a lot of stress on your knee. So we turn our hip. If you're facing forward, let's do the other leg. Let's get that knee up nice and high. One. We're gonna hold the knee there before we kick. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today, we're going to do a hook kick, but not just a hook kick, a hook kick followed by a round kick. This is preparing you brown belts and above for stage three of the warrior kata, or part three of the warrior kata. Like before, I'm gonna hold on to the side here. Now, when we do the hook kick in the warrior kata, we aren't going to step up. You have to step up when we hook kick. We're gonna lean back, just like when we do a side kick. We're gonna do the hook kick, and then we're gonna put the foot down to begin with. So. We lift up like a side kick, so the knee's chambered. But instead of going straight forward, we go to the side, then hook, across, then hook. We'll use this on a target later, when we do our target training. So, knee up, and hook right across. Good, that's number two. Two, number three, I mean. Hook across, good. Four. Five. 
four. So we get the knee up first, then push out. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome, let's do the other leg. Again, we're leaning back, firing it like a psychic that's missing, then coming across. Are you ready for this? Is that a yes, sensei? Let's hear you all say, yes, sensei. Black belt techniques we're doing, this is awesome. One, two, three, four. So I'm getting that knee wide up like a sidekick. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the fun starts. We're gonna add a round kick to that. Fantastic. And this time, excuse me. We're gonna do this without holding on to the uh, side. If you still need to hold on to something, that's perfectly fine. Find the hook kick and the round kick. So we're leaning back, no stepping. We're gonna try and do this relatively smooth, not too fast. One, hook kick, then we fire the round kick right out there. Two, and try and do this a little bit slower. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feels well, pretty good. So, same thing off the other leg. Remember, as soon as the hook kick check folds up, just fire the kick straight out again. But there is a difference in your foot position. So when we do the hook kick, the hit, the, um, it's this position, yeah, you're hitting with the heel. But then, when you do the round kick, you're pointing the foot, because it's a round kick. Let's do the other side. Got feeling good, let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the hook kick, round kick is pretty easy. Most people can fire a hook kick and a round kick. Now, what is not easy is doing it well. And particularly it's a high section kick or someone you're finding it someone your size, head height. Okay. Um, but that's where the flexibility and the kicking practice comes in. So you can throw a high kick. And the reason we throw the hook kick round kick is quite sneaky. You do the hook kick, they think you're missing. They counter with a punch. Let me show you with Jasmine. Seems real slow and easy. Let's see, Jasmine's got a guard, she's not blocking. And as I fire the hook kick, she obviously, she's still gonna lean back. So I fire the hook kick, don't lean back then. She fires the hook kick, she leans back. Like, like that? No, stay where you are so I can hit you. I'm gonna kick Jasmine unless she leans back. I wonder if she can do that. Right, so as I kick her, if she doesn't lean back, I'm gonna hit her. Right, but then, Let's say then she does a punch as she comes back. She's going to be super slow so I can show you. So the hook kick, she comes in, bah, kick her in the face. The head kick, let's do that again nice and slow. We do the hook kick, she comes in and punches, bah, kick her in the head. So do that, just get the idea of how we can use that. You can also do the, the round kick to the body of course as well. I think we want to do the, uh, um, the uh, partner work now, Jasmine. So next is our partner work. Yeah. We're gonna do more of the cutter towards the end. 
We've been working our arm drag and we've been doing it from a shoulder push. We're going to do the same thing, yeah. but she's going from the push on the top of, this, uh, top of the chest. So she pushes on top of the chest. Um, I've got two choices. I can go this way with the arm drag or this way. Obviously this way is a little bit harder, like before. So she's facing us. Okay, the arm drag, uh, sorry, the, the wipe off move, simply an outward block. Once come on the inside, so it's on the inside of the arm. We don't want to come on the outside here, come on the inside. Um, so, she's pushing here. She could be doing a neck choke, ah, but she's not. We're going to wipe off, grab, grab high, pull in tight, and then lock the body up here. You're going to try that. So, remember how we do this. She does a push. We come on the inside, wipe off. We grab the wrist. We're going to do that five times. She grabs. One, two, and a grab. Three, four, five. This will be on your tip test. In two weeks, let's get this practice. I'm going to say now push towards her chest. She's going to wipe on the inside here and grab. Good. Two, three, four. So she's grabbing my wrist. Five. Now, when she does it, I'm going to do the arm drag. She, she goes, I wipe off, grab the wrist, hand comes under, do this with me. Make sure you're following along. Pull it in tight and then lock to the back. And then she goes one. Here, smooth step here, lock to the back. Two. Three. Four. Five. She's going to do the same, I'm going to do the same with Jasmine. She's going to wipe off, grab the wrist, arm drag them, body lock on my back. One. She goes around the back, locks me up. Here, go. Here. Two. So we're doing the same arm drag as before, the same wipe off block as before, even though the position, the attack's slightly different. Instead of the shoulder, I'm pushing towards the top of the chest. And one more here. Now, we're going to one more time, and we're just going to do it three times. I'm going to do it a little bit faster or, or smoother. I want to do it without any gaps. You can do it as slow as you want or as quick as you want, but don't miss any bits out. So this time, when Jasmine grabs me, goes, I'm going straight into it. Just two. Ah, she's trying to trick me using different hands. Come on, trick me. Three. And then... Um, so, because I practice that a lot, I can do it without thinking. With self-defense moves, it has to be done almost without thinking. So, I'm going to uh, grab Jasmine. She's going to arm drag and go to her back one. Yeah, well, she goes there. She can do it fast if she wants. She can't do it fast. Oh, she can. She doesn't think Jasmine knows. All she knows is arm drag really well. And one more time, nice and quick. Oh, yeah. But the ones that haven't done uh, that much sort of clinch or grappling training with us, obviously Jasmine's a little weenie, eats two moves on her. But we wouldn't do these moves if you can't do them on someone massive and big. And you, you, everyone that trains with us, we know this works on big people. And that's what it's for, as well as little people. But let's do our back defense. So remember how it works in the snow. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here, I'm thinking about nonsense. and. Jasmine creeps up, does a body lock on me. Ah, surprise. So we've, we know now we use two hands to push on the top of her one hand. Not one hand or the other hand on both hands. Two hands together pushing on the top of her hand to push off. But also we've added to that, we lean back, we move the front foot out. Now if Jasmine gets into angle a bit, she, see how, how close our, 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 my back is to her, her back, her, her front of me. If I move my hips out, see my hips going further away and her arms getting straighter, and then we can push up, particularly if they're strong. So we go here, out, and push back. Here, so here, push out and back. Right, that, you guys do it, right? So make sure you're doing this, make sure you're following along. As I grab, Jasmine's gonna move out her hips first, then she's gonna push. Ready, she moves out first, then push. You would do this simultaneously, but for the practice, do it in two parts. Move out and push. Two on one. Move out. Ah, I made it a bit tighter. Let's do it again, number four, here. 
Ah, it's hurting my hands now. Excellent. One more go. That's my go. So Jasmine's going to do, uh, go, going to do the, the, the hot lock here. Pushing out. Push. She's weak. She can't hold me. And I'm pushing out. Ah. You'll be quite tight now. I'm moving out. I'm pushing here. She grabs. And push up here. So that's our skate from the back. Now, we need to add to that. We're not going to practice it today. I'm just going to show you what it is. Now, if Jasmine grabs me from behind and I do a great escape, she grab me again. I'll be here all day. So what I need to is when I do the release, is uh, release, is turn into her and get a body lock on her. And not look at so same thing with, with Jasmine. When, she, when, I do, when she does the defense, she has to turn back into me. That's the only way she's gonna stay safe and then she's got her clean skills. That's our partner work. We need work. a smaller pad. Why do we need a smaller pad? For the drop pad. Um, because you use a big one, it's up to you. With the target, it's going to, you'll enjoy this. It can be, it's more challenging than, it, challenging than it looks. It's called a pad drop. So we're going to do a punch with a pad drop in. Now, you want to make sure the direction you're punching the pad, you're not going to break anything. So punch it against a plain wall or fence this or anything This last one would be like. good if you've yeah. got one. Um, right, so she's going to drop it and I'm going to punch it. Now, because back I don't want it to punch it into her, She's gonna hold it, actually stand this side for me, just hold it that hand. Right, she's gonna hold it like this. And I'm probably gonna miss. <laughs> now, we could do this from a, like a, a guarding stance, but let's have some fun. Let's do it from the horse stance, okay? It might be a bit more difficult. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have like one hand, and this hand's going to punch. She fires, does it? Oh no, I'm too slow, see that? I didn't punch oh, it. A bit, a bit far away. I was on purpose this it, Jasmine, to demonstrate. Now, so ideally, she has it hard as she does the bird up, she goes one, boom, right? And I punch it straight out. Awesome, right? Remember horse stance. She does a bit higher. Go. She, she'll just, I don't know, should you say go? You gonna tell her when you're dropping it? I'll say go. She'll say go when she releases it, because otherwise it'll be quite tricky. Go. So I'm punching it here. Just like this. It says I've got to tap my stingers. And again. Go. I'm punching it here. Are you hitting the target? Let's do, let's do five more. Ready? Go. Good, and my horse stands. My hand out, ready? Go. It went flying then, right over the rocks. Okay. Number three, go. Oh. See how I can get. Are you hitting the target? Go. So we have to focus a little bit on this. Last one. Go. Ah, yes, I bet Jasmine misses all hers. So, she's going to do the punch. Now, again, in horse stance, which she's not used to. I don't think Jasmine's done a horse stance since she was like about six. You, you do. Oh, Should we'll do, do this with it. No, that makes sense, that makes sense. So, Jasmine's going to punch it towards where there's like a fence. So, she's going in horse stance, all right. You have one hand low ready, and, and, and when I say go, I'll drop it. If she wants to punch it, go. Oh, just. It's too, you need to be a bit closer. No, I'm not making it closer. Again. Be lower stance. Go. Oh, she got it. But she's not punching it very far. There's no power there. It's too far away. <laughs> All right. Go. Oh, that's went flying that time. Are we ready for this? This is going to be number four. Go. N number five. Now, boy, see, she's not fast enough. Let's try that again. Go. I'm actually cheating by throwing it. Don't throw it to the floor. Just let gravity do it. We'll do two more because I've been a bit mean to Jasmine. And we're going to just, I'm going to drop it. She's going to punch it. One. Good. She's hitting it there, no problem. And two. So how do you do those pad drops? Hopefully okay. As promised, we're going to uh, practice the hook kick. And this is, I oh know this is fine. She used this little one. And this is particularly useful with a target because hook kick, you might get a bit confused what's happening with the, uh, with the kick. And I want Jasmine, she's going to hold it at such an angle here, hold it on top, but stand it 45 degrees to the camera so you're sort of out of shot because a, a bit more close to the camera because I want to see. So see how the pads hang in here. So ideally, I want to come one side and it hooks across. See that? Was, so I'm not coming this side because that would be a roundhouse kick. I'm leaning back, hook, 
hooking there. We're not adding the round kick, we're just gonna do the hook kick. So we'll keep there, I'm gonna do 10 kicks, then I'm going to lose my other leg. So we're leaning back, we're not adding a step. One, a bit higher Jasmine, go higher, higher. Two, three, four, five, six, I'm trying to keep my back hand on my jaw. Seven. Whoa, too much power for her. She can't deal with it. Eight. Eight. A bit higher. Nine. Ten. Now, she can have a little go. Jasmine's little legs won't go as high as mine. What angle should I have? This angle's fine. Your back leg or front leg? Off your front leg with no step. You can add a step if you want, Jasmine. One. So she's hooking it across, you see. Two. Do a bit higher. Three. A bit higher. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So now she's going to hold. For me again, I'm kicking my, using my other leg. If you stand there, it's probably better. That's good, that's perfect. Good, good, good. Ready. So we're kicking now. We're going to get slightly higher. Do whatever height you feel comfortable with. One. Two. Three. Half a weight. Little person behind me. <laughs> Four, five, six, higher, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Other side for Jasmine. Best leg it is, isn't it? Yeah. Ready. One, two, See, Jasmine's cool, she's got sunglasses on. Three, four, five, that's it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, it's getting hot out here. Let's move on to our warrior, Kata. Right, so I'm getting distracted by the little baby. Not so much little anymore. By the way, my little girl, Delilah, she's learned to say no over the last week or so. Which is lots of fun. Part one, we're doing that, that's what everyone needs. And if you're between up to white to orange, you need this part. You don't need part two, okay? You don't need part two. But you can still practice part twos and three. Attention. Ready, stance to the side, four punches, go. Then two low blocks, we're going to point the hand down, block. Then two inward blocks, again, remember to point to the center, block. Then two high blocks, keeping this back hand tight always, block. From here, we guard, we front kick, put it behind us, then front leg side kick. Front kick, lean back a bit, push out the side kick, and guard. Then we turn the guard, and I'll do a front kick, side kick the other way. Then I'll turn back again. Tension, then here. This time we're gonna do part one, we're gonna add part two, after it. So here, here. So to the side, four straight punches. Go. Low blocks. Inward block. High block. Step in guard. Front kick, side kick. 
time. Same technique, front kick, side kick. Now, to continue to, so you could go to ready position here and finish, but to continue to part two, we're simply going to uh, step into horse stance with a knife hand strike. Again, this is just shoulder height. We make a fist, we step into front stance, so our hips are in the direction of the punch, turn the hip over and punch. We step to the center again, make a knife hand with this punch hand. Here, make a fist, step out, punch. And like before, we step in guard, we go to a roundhouse kick this time and simply step back. One, and then off the other leg, two. And we step, guard to finish, ready stance and attention. That's both parts. If you're outside, it's getting warm, right? Can I have my hat, please, someone? Yes, I'll get it. Um, so I'm going to get my cap now. Again, I'm going to go through it. We're going to pause after each move, which isn't just good so you can follow on. Pause it. official cap. You got, no, this Central. is actually from Camp Spain um, <laughs> last year. Look, Camp Spain last year. Yeah. No camp spray in April this year, but who knows? Maybe we can go some of the time this year. Right, so I've got my cap on, I'm ready. So from attention position, ready stance. To the side, punches, four, go. Low block. Again, always keeping the back hand tight. Inward block. High blocks. Guard. Kicking combination. Fully, fully straightening the leg. I turn, same, same combination. I land in guard, then turn. Now, I step to the horse stance, hand here, strike. Neck and fist, step to front, a front stance, punch. I open this hand, again back into horse stance, strike and that strike is shoulder height make a fist step into front stance punch again backhand is tight we step forward into guard we do two roundhouse kicks and we step back one i step back for the space and two here back to here Okay, we're not going to do part three today, but you've already had an indication that in part three, there's a hook kick and a round kick, which we do off both legs, similar to the start of, uh, similar to part one. But we're going to do part one and part two today, because remember, it's not enough just remembering the moves, even though that's important, and remembering the order. You want to be able to do them strong. Now for the tip test, we don't expect to do them strong, or even well. We just want to see, it's really for our benefit as instructors, see how you're learning it. And when you send us your tip test videos, if, if I'm making errors in teaching, meaning I'm going too fast, or, or, or not concentrating on the right move, I can, we can readdress those when we see your tip test videos. So it's really for us as just as much as you. Let's do that again. Again, lots of pauses. I'm going to try and make individual moves fast and strong but with pauses, that is the key to making classical techniques look awesome. So, tension, here. Loads of tension, loads of power, the whole hip hands crazy tight. Let's step to the side and four punches, go. Blocks, low block. Inward block. High block. Guard. Kicks. Step into horse stance. Knife hand strike for part two. Make the fist step out into front stance as we punch the back leg locks. We put the weight in the front, step to the center, horse stance and knife hand strike. Make a fist, punch into front stance, guard, 
Roundhouse kick, step back, roundhouse kick. And then, ready stance. Whoa! That was, oh, we did some good practice there, didn't we? Get my breath back. So, um, if you've got any particular questions on both parts or any of the techniques we've done today, including the self-defense, if there's any part of the self-defense you want highlighting or going over, we'll go over it again, of course, next lesson, but there might be a particular part you're having a challenge with. And it's, sometimes these problems are not as big as they seem. With a little bit of guidance, you'll get it right. But arm drag is awesome. It's a move you'll use forever in your martial arts. I hope you all have a great day. Um, again, let's, let's see how you're doing. Post some videos or pictures, and let's keep this community active and you know, make sure we're all still connected. Have a wonderful the rest of the Saturday. Let's do a good attention, no sloppiness. Let's be one lesson closer to our next stripe and in two weeks we'll be one strike closer to our next bout. Thank you.